Hey YouTubers, back with another video, finally uh, the video on L plates that I've been talking about doing. I'm finally doing it. And uh, these are L plates for the Sony A7 um, series of cameras. Actually, one of them is universal, so it will work on multiple cameras. Uh, the other one is specifically for the A7, and I'm sure the manufacturer makes um, other versions for other cameras. But uh, first off, what is an L plate? Well, an L plate is uh, an accessory for your tripod and your camera that lets you switch from landscape to portrait quickly and easily without fooling around with, uh, you know, the uh, this kind of thing on your uh, on your ball head. So um, they come in really handy. They're very convenient, and uh, I, I think you, if you're doing any landscape photography, uh, portrait photography, etc., you're probably going to want one of these things. Or two of them, if you're like me. So the one that's on here right now is Pro Media Gear, and it's a universal L plate, so you can kind of adapt it uh, to fit whatever camera you like. And uh, obviously, I've adapted it to fit my A7 Mark II here. The other one is from JTZ, and this is for the camera without the battery grip attached. Uh, this one's made in China. And uh, this is the one that's very specific to the A7 Mark II. It's, it's got some specific machining uh, to fit the body nicely. It has a, uh, a place where your uh, battery can uh, come out and uh, where you can get to the uh, accessory ports on the camera. Uh, so that's a nice thing. I'll get into that a little further later. So multiple options here. And uh, I'm going to get into the details on these guys right now. Okay, this is the Pro Media Gear L plate hooked up to the camera. And you can see the slots where the uh, dovetail clamp for the Arca Swiss mount fits. And they're fairly long, so you get some uh, degree of freedom in moving it around. Now that registration mark there, that's supposed to correspond to the center point of the lens. And it works fairly well in the horizontal dimension because you can choose between these two different mounting slots. These hex bolts are what fix the sliding part, the vertical part of the L plate into place and you kind of pick the right position for it and lock them in. And I have mine set to where it just barely clears the battery door latch. Speaking of battery doors and latches, a major problem with this L bracket is you can't open the battery door on the battery grip while the L plate is in position. There is a little consolation. There's a nice little slot where you can put the uh, hex key that you use to adjust and attach the L bracket and it's got a little magnetic retainer which is kind of slick. Attaching the camera to the ball head is child's play if you have an Arca Swiss style clamp which is what's required to use this. I do want to point out however that the uh, registration mark for lens center when the camera is in portrait orientation, well at least on my A7 that is not correct. It doesn't match up. And that's really not all that surprising given that it's a universal L bracket and, you know, it's got to fit a lot of different cameras. Putting the camera into landscape mode, same as portrait mode. Now another downside of this L bracket is it blocks the accessory port door. And I've already mentioned the fact that it blocks the battery door on the grip. Notwithstanding the minor issues with this L bracket, I'm pretty darn happy with it and I'll be keeping it. Doubt I'll replace it with anything else. Moving on to the JTZ L plate, uh, I'll first point out that it has a nicer finish than the Pro Media Gear and it is also specific to the A7. So it fits it really nicely. So a big advantage of that is it gives you accessibility to specific things on the A7, like the accessory ports and importantly, the battery door. Nice. One more convenience is the L plate can be put into place using either a coin or a hex key. The additional height provided by the L bracket gives a little more grip, but not a lot. Mounting your camera on the ball head is very same as with the other L plate. The interesting thing is, even though this L plate is specifically for the A7, there's no center registration marks on it at all and I think they missed an opportunity there. It's not the end of the world. If your ball head has a registration mark on it, you can just use that. 
As I mentioned before, it's really easy to get to the battery door and do battery switches with this L bracket. So that's a big advantage over the Pro Media Gear one, but of course this L bracket doesn't work with the grip on the camera, or at least it wouldn't work very well. The vertical arm of the L bracket is kind of interesting. It has a gap, and uh, while it might seem a little weird, it seems to work pretty well in practice, and I'm not worried about the security of the camera at all, really. After all, the purpose of the little sort of gap is to give you access to the accessory port, so it's a reasonable trade-off in my opinion. Between the two L brackets, I'd really have to say that the JTZ wins in fit, finish, and uh, just overall quality, but it doesn't fit on a camera with a grip on it. If only they made one that did work with a grip, they'd have a huge winner on their hands. If you're in the market, I don't think you can lose with either one of these. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.